A shooting near the Mexican border. Three victims, all identified as Mexican citizens. Tonight, they are all recovering here in San Diego. KUSI's Georgette Copaz live in the newsroom now with the latest. Georgette? Well, Sasha, the Border Patrol continues to investigate tonight. Authorities say shots were fired in Mexico, and then the victims ran a short distance across the border. All I saw was a Mexican laying on the ground like they had him on a stretcher, and one of my friends said they thought he was dead. We caught up with one young woman who tells us she witnessed last night's shootout near the Mexican border. We've protected her identity. They didn't have his head covered, and they said they thought they did that because there was people watching. But they went over and they used like four guys to pick him up and put him in the ambulance. Authorities say it was near the town of Campo. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department, Border Patrol, and paramedics were called to the scene at a trailer park. That's where they found one person shot in the upper leg, a second person grazed in the head by a bullet, and a third victim suffered a broken arm. What was going through your mind? Nothing. Just, wow. Like... I couldn't believe it was all happening, like, right there. Well, it's a very unfortunate incident that happened last night. My concern is that people's lives are being put in danger by coming across this border. David Lee Joy is running for Congress. Last night's shooting prompted a meeting where he spoke publicly about keeping a closer eye on this border. We need to secure the border fence. That's priority number one. It's a security issue for the United States. And we need to solve that problem first and foremost, and then we won't have issues like we had last night. As it stands, there are roughly 18,000 Border Patrol agents nationwide. I think we need to double. I think we need upwards of 50,000. And we need to have observation stations here so people can be on lookout, you know, be on the watchtower to watch for people that are coming in. The victims were all taken to local hospitals, but no word on their conditions at this hour. Investigators searched all night for additional victims, but turned up nothing. At this point, we have not received any information regarding suspects in this case. Also, we still don't know the motive and circumstances behind the attack. Reporting live in the newsroom, Georgette Copez, KUSI News. So essentially all we know is that those three people who were shot managed to breach the border. What do we know about the Border Patrol presence there? Well, Sasha, we've learned it's a common crossing area, and it is heavily enforced by agents. We're still waiting to hear back from investigators to get more details. Thank you, Georgette, for the update. Motorist, motorist looking for cheap gas.